Freeman, what are they? We learned about them earlier. There appear to be some modifications to the structure. It's in violation of building codes. Under these conditions, it is impossible to maintain accurate data on what is, who is living where. What, you actually want me to investigate him? That's right. Please, Gillian, be reasonable. Where would we even begin to look for him around here? How about there over how about them over there? Let's try them. I have no data on this area. Maybe we should try asking someone. How about them over there? Let's try them. Nope. Their, ac their actual lifestyle is not unlike that of homeless. See, they're gathered around a fire. How are they different from the homeless? Unlike the less fortunate, these people have chosen to live like this, often leaving good jobs to do so. It appears to be a form of rebellion towards the over-control of information by the central authorities. They are one of Neo Kobe's biggest problems. Maybe they know something. Why don't we ask them? Hey, you guys. What? I need to talk to you. Yeah? Could you tell me anything you know about a man named Ivan Rodriguez? Was there anybody named that around here? You lied to me and you'll live to regret it. Now, now, calm yourself. I'm trying to remember. Let's show him the... Uh, the... Oh yeah, it would just be under photo. Montage photo. Do you know this man? Hmm, that's that idiot Ivan. Yeah, that's that fool himself. Alright, so they know who he is. Where does Ivan live? He's in apartment 301 of this building. That's the kid with that weird board thing, right? You mean the guy who's in, this, in the sky, don't you? I hear he's always surfing. Oh, that guy, huh? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Who's that? Let's uh, let's show them the picture and see if they have they recognize Gibson. Photograph. Wow, I haven't seen one of those in ages. Apparently not. Have you heard anything about snatchers in this area? Snatchers? Don't be stupid. Even if there were any around here, do you think they'd come after us? How long have you been living around here? I used to be part of the development team that put together the Alpha One network. So you were a programmer, huh? What happened? One day I took a peek at some secret data in Alpha One. That's impossible. Security on that system is. It was possible for me. Anyhow, I saw enough garbage and scum on people in this in this society in that file to last me a lifetime. People, they can sink pretty low, you know. You may be right. Why don't you become free too? Join us here. You ever get sick of it all? Just drop by. I've got to get my pass back before I can come free. Alpha One is data on the development team in there. In there, take a look at it when you get a chance. Let's uh, let's go to room 301. All right, let's head for apartment 301. Third floor, eh? Well, he won't be able to escape out the window. I mean, yeah, he probably still could. We're at the door to apartment 301. It says apartment 301, Ivan Rodriguez. It's an old-style door with a small peephole viewer installed. There's an electric meter. It appears to be for this apartment. It's a door play for apartment 301. It's handwritten, but accurate. This is definitely Ivan, Ivan Rodriguez's apartment. Gillian, why don't we try knocking? There's no answer. The door is locked. Wait a minute. Electricity is being used. I read motion. Somebody is in the apartment. That's funny. It is an old-style electric meter. The amount of electricity used in, is displayed visually by a counter and wheel mechanism. Metal Gear, do something. So we don't have a warrant. We can't open it unless we have a key. There's definitely someone in there. Who's there? Ivan Rodriguez, I'm a junker. Open up, I've got a few questions for to ask you. What do you want? First, you open this door. All right, all right, just relax. Sorry it took so long. Oh shit! Gillian, watch out! He got the shot on me first, but I was able to get that gun out of his hand. Did I kill him? He has only lost consciousness. Excellent shot, Gillian, hitting him in the hand like that. That's not exactly how I planned it. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's 
take a look around here. He looks just like the montage, but he has quite a suntan. Also, he's freaking out. Stop that, alright? Somebody save me! Hey, what did you come out shooting for? You shot me once back there, you know. He's not, a. Uh... Without a scanning warrant, I can't perform a full analysis, but a visual inspection reveals no cancerous skin lesions despite his deep tan. There's a great deal of waste packed into an old model electric suction type cleaning device. Apparently he isn't too concerned about cleanliness. It's a Saturday night it's a Saturday night RG eleven. This is a toy gun that has been modified to fire real shells. A very low grade weapon. You aren't hurt too badly. Well it took a hit, but considering the gun he used. Aged organic materials and Typical secretory organisms are all I read. There is no evidence that in his garbage that he is a snatcher. This room's really dark. I don't see anything suspicious, though. The room is quite filthy. Wait, there are some trophies over there. It says runner up 12th Neo Kobe Air Surfing Championships. I get it, he's an air surfer. That's what it said in this thing. It appears to be a real trophy. You're a snatcher, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about, man! He seems to be behaving strangely. Don't let your guard down. All right, Jesus! Wake up. Well, man, don't shoot, don't shoot! Gillian, while your earlier shot is justifiable as self-defense, killing this suspect would violate Section 5, Article 2 of the Junker Bylaws. You must first have concrete evidence that he is a snatcher. Damn! We should search his bathroom. We may find sunscreen there. Good point. Okay, let's move into the bathroom. Alright, this is Ivan's bathroom. Let's take a smell. What a horrible smell. Based on your reaction, I would say that there is no Snow 9 here either. Around the room. My goodness, this place is just as disgusting as the living room. An airboard is leaning against the wall. The tub is filled with dirty water. Gross. Wait, there's a bottle here. Maybe it is sunscreen. Let's get that bottle. Metal, analyze the contents of this for me, will ya? It's not sunscreen. It's suntan oil. It shows no signs of having been used recently. Sunscreen and suntan oil are like day and night. Hmm. It's an airboard. Stein reflects the latest aer aer aeronautic technologies. An air serving helmet, protector, and air fins are lying about. Here's completely unwashed. It's soiled and striped pattern. Yeah. Center commercial suntan oil product. This label on the bottle confirms this. What's so funny? Just check it out for me. Hmm, there's a crack on the bottom of the board. Something seems to be jutting out. It's a plastic bag. I detect numerous or organic residue and organisms in the water residue here. There's a, there is no evidence that he's a snatcher here. It appears that there's some kind of inner chamber in the board. Can I investigate that? Oh, there we go. Plastic bag. There's some kind of powder in it. Drugs. 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 <laughs> this. These are illegal drugs. And not only that, it looks like Liquid Sky. That powerful stimulant that is killing a lot of its addicts. So that about explains everything, doesn't it? Yes. It appears that Ivan was simply trying to conceal the fact that he is a drug user. An air surfer, huh? Plenty of suntan oil. Out there soaking up lots of ultraviolet rays. And tanned quite brown by those rays as well. But he doesn't have so much as a pimple. Not what I'd call your typical artificial skin user. Ivan is apparently not a snatcher. All right, buddy, get up. Hey! I only do Liquid Sky, dude! Just once in a while! I swear! I don't touch anything else! Don't hurt me, man! Come on! Call me an ambulance, will ya? I'm no cop. I'm a junker. I couldn't care less if you're a buyer, a pusher, or what. What I want to know is if you're a snatcher or human. Gillian, Ivan's skin is healthy. There is no way he could be a snatcher and tan like that without developing melanoma. Alright. That does it. Oh. However, HQ has just transmitted us a scanning warrant. Therefore, oh. under the provisions of Section 18 of the Civil Code, Snatchers, and the Protection of Citizens' Rights, I will hereby commence a full bioscan of Ivan. All right. Analysis complete. 
Evan Rodriguez is a completely normal homo sapien. Cool. Sorry, dude. Oh, I keep telling you, dude. I ain't no snatcher or whatever. Now, would you please get me a doctor? Why don't you just put some of your drugs on it? <laughs> hey, I wasn't doing anything wrong, man. The friendly boys from Narcotics will be here any time now. Save your breath for them. Come on, dude. I ain't done nothing. I'm just in the air surfing. I just wanted to win the competition, man. I needed some money for that, okay? Hey, it's just drugs, man. Vape life. Well, that's one suspect down. Well, Ivan Rodriguez sure wasn't our man. Too bad for him that he happened to look like the snatcher we're after. That leaves Freddie Nielsen. All right, let's head to Freddie's apartment or place or whatevs. We've arrived. This is Freddie Nielsen's building. According to the data, he lives on the second floor, apartment 202. Well, this is our last suspect. Will he be the one we're looking for? This is apartment 202. Second floor, right? Let's head up. This is it, apartment 202. Don't forget what happened at Ivan's. Be very careful, Gillian. Let's take a, let's take a look the plate. It says 202 Freddy and Lisa Nielsen. The door is a peephole. No mistake, it's definitely in Nielsen's apartment. The door is locked. Well, it's a smock. There's no answer. Maybe no one's home. I wonder if somebody's in there. Uh, hey, in there, open up. I'm a junker. I've got a few questions to ask you. There's no answer, is there? Let's take a look out front first. The design atmosphere of the building is no doubt popular with women. It's a rather lively neighborhood, isn't it? The building is right on the main street. Quite convenient. This is like day and night compared to Ivan's place. This area actually looks safe. The sewer system is apparently incomplete. Steam is building up from underground pipes. So that means there are underground passages around here. That's a remnant from before the automatic traffic system was completed. Now it's being used for advertising. The building is sided with imitation block bricks. It's built so that one can reach the second floor from outside. There are turbo cycles and pedestrians moving around everywhere. Would Snatchers actually live in an area like this where they would be seen? The cover has been sealed to prevent accidents since it's not used anymore. Sensors and crime prevention cameras are buried here. Uh-oh. I read motion. Someone is inside. Let's keep knocking. Is it? I mean, it took you like five times to answer your door after I knock. I heard a voice! I'm a junker. Open the door. Huh? A junker? All right, just a minute. So this is the yeah. wife. Please use extreme caution. Huh? A woman? I'm with the junker agency. Is this the home of Freddie Nielsen? Yes, it is. And you are. I'm his wife. Exactly what can I do for you? As a matter of fact, we are investigating your husband on the suspicion that he may be a snatcher. 